New style video. We're going on a tour of Yukon, Oklahoma homes and also sort of the town of Yukon. And you're going to come with me here in the car. And yes, I've got a bunch of baby seats behind me. The Yukon broke down and we had to have it towed. So I got, I got all the baby seats in it to put in the van. Ah, yuck. So anyways, I've got the GoPro going up ahead. Up, up above, right there, the GoPro, and I can see it right here, okay, and uh, I need to start recording on the GoPro, um, okay, let's, uh, let's sync the cameras together, and then I'll shrink myself down in the bottom left of the screen, bottom left of the screen, throw the EXP logo up over on the right and uh yeah now you can see the gopro and what what we're gonna look at today is braxton neighborhood we're gonna look at settlers ridge and then we're gonna look at stone mill those three neighborhoods and along the way we're gonna look at yukon and just talk about it you me and everyone else that's watching all right let's uh let me get my map pulled up Okay, I've got the map pulled up. I've got the GoPro going. Let me get it set up right here beside me. And now, we're going to go look at some neighborhoods. Okay, perfect. Let's go. And I've got the phone on Do Not Disturb. Because I don't want anyone or to bug us on our tour together. I want you to get to know Yukon, Oklahoma. All right, there's big water tower up there. See that big water tower? So the first two neighborhoods, Braxton and Settlers Crossing, will have great water pressure. <laughs> They'll have great water pressure. And these two neighborhoods are just south of the Super Walmart, the Lowe's, all that stuff that you're going to want to go to. All the cooking, all the eating, all the everything. And I cannot wait to show you that on today's tour. Shoot, we might look at Summers Park, too. Might, I don't have any of their stats, but we might look at them. There's Settlers Ridge. We'll come back to that neighborhood. We will definitely come back to that neighborhood because this neighborhood I want to chat with you first is Braxton, and it is brand spanking new. Brand spanking new. I'm gonna have to pull up over here <laughs> to get the screen record to work. Oh man, here we go. Beacon Homes. Beacon Homes are in this neighborhood. Braxton. Braxton. I did not know who was building in this neighborhood. This is hilarious. There's Beacon Homes model right there. All right, let's start driving. So you can see here to my right that they are building to the right, to the right. They're putting in new houses over here. Look at those new houses going in. They got the plumbing going in, the the stem wall, the footer. Oh no, the slabs are already in. So the plumbing's already in. I don't know what they're doing there. Look at that all white house. That is a white house. And then this is a little cul-de-sac right here. Looks like they've already put houses in. That's cool. Oh, wow. Look at that. These houses are going to have great water pressure. That water tower is right there. That is awesome. Man, I love it when the shower has tons of good water pressure. That is awesome. Oh, they've got a zoned AC system. That's cool. Zoned AC system right there. I bet one of them's just for the little office garage thingy. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't look like they got the actual office open yet. Oh, cool. Look at this house. It's got like a little castle front on it. That's neat. Little castle study area. I bet that's probably a study. Or maybe a little girl's room. She's, she's pretending to be the princess or something. That, that could happen too. They've got lots for sale in this neighborhood. Braxton. Braxton. And it looks like another house has a little circle room. That's cool. House getting put in right there. 
just checking out my map. Okay, I should be able to circle back around this way. Um, while we're driving through Braxton, I'll give you some quick stats on it. Does it have a lot of cells yet? Um, right now, over the last six months, it's had four, four homes sell, four homes sell over the last six months, and they're selling for around 154 a square foot, 154 a square foot, and anywhere between 345 and 382, 345 and 382 is what the neighborhood is selling for. Got a bunch of new homes going in right here. Looks like the plumber. Yep, looks like a plumber truck doing some plumbing work over here. And look at that, they've got a playground. You guys see that playground up there? That is cool. That is super cool. I love playgrounds. Yeah, look at that playground. That is awesome. God, man. They don't have those giant metal slides like they did when we were kids anymore. They they got rid of those. But do you guys remember those like 20 foot tall metal slides? At least they felt 20 foot tall when we were, you know, only four foot tall. But those are some giant metal slides. God, this is a cool looking neighborhood. I guess they're doing kind of the modern farmhouse style looking neighborhoods in this neighborhood. We're going to go down this street, Bray. Because the other street uh, looks pretty bare. It looks like there's a lot more action here on Bray. And you see a lot of the houses that have already been built. So they've got some modern style homes, some traditional style homes. They've got some farmhouse style homes in this neighborhood. Yep. Um, neighborhood sells between 345 and 385. It's what the stats are showing on it. And this is Braxton. This is located in the western, the southwestern part of Yukon. Just about two miles from the Super Walmart. We're going to be driving by the Super Walmart. We won't, we won't be driving by the Super Walmart. Because, because I want to take you on the street before the Super Walmart. They have built out everything from Garth Brooks over to Czech with all sorts of shopping. And I want to show you guys that. I definitely want to show you guys that as we go to Stone Mill. But the next neighborhood after this one that we'll be going to is Settlers Crossing. And we may we may go ahead and drive through Som Sumner Farms, even though I don't have any of their stats. But at least you'll get to see it while we're down here. So you'll be able to get a feel of four neighborhoods on today's tour of Yukon, Oklahoma. So yeah, this is Braxton. New homes going in. Beacons of Builder that I saw. One of their signs was a builder sign that I saw in the neighborhood in Braxton. Braxton. South, southwest Yukon. Look at that wall. You guys see the wall to the right? That's a nice, nice, masculine, strong looking wall. I like that. It's neighborhood entrance means a lot. It really does. Neighborhood's entrance. It really means a lot. It really sets the tone for the neighborhood. All right. Let's get out of here. Go to the next one. I want to go to Settlers Crossing next because I have all the data on that one. All right. And it is just up here to the east. I'm heading east now on Reno. Head east on Reno. Going towards, I call it Garth Brooks Boulevard because the other name of it is Cemetery Road and that's that's just a gross name. Let's go ahead and look at Sumner's Park. Or Sumner's uh, Farms. Let's go ahead and look at Sumner's, what does it say? Village. Sumner's Village. Let's go ahead and look at Sumner's Village. It's on the way to Settler's Cross. They're saying Sumner's Point. <laughs> Everyone's got a different name for this neighborhood. Okay, looking at these houses, I'm going to say 200 to two, 200 to 300,000. That's what I'm going to say. I don't want to pull it up on my phone because it will mess up the map for today but yeah I'm gonna say 200 maybe tops 300 for this neighborhood but nice little neighborhood looks like they have some decent spaced lots too some decent spaced lots sidewalks sidewalks throughout and I wonder if I can see a park there it is right there you guys see the park there to the left that's a great looking park <laughs> It's got a splash pad. It has a splash pad. 
Oh man, I wish I could get my kids a splash pad. That would be cool. I should. It can't be that hard. I bet I could build one out of PVC. I, I bet you could build a splash pad easily out of PVC. I ought to build my kids a splash pad. Hey, look, there's a vacant lot. Wonder why that never got built out. This is Sumner's Point, is what the Neighborhood Association sign said. Sumner's Point. Uh-oh, someone pulled up behind me. I hope they don't go too fast. I'm going to go ahead and pull over, because sometimes people pass me in neighborhoods, and I don't like it when they do that without... Um, you just never know when there's going to be little kids. You just never know. Okay. I'm going to go north on this road because I think it's going to get us back to where we want to go. Yeah, because that looks like it's Garth Brooks over there. So we're going to go north on this road so we can get into Settler's Crossing. Settler's Crossing. That's the next neighborhood. And I'll switch over to those stats. Yeah, this is probably two hundred dollars to $300,000 neighborhood. Two hundred dollars to dollars neighborhood. So I'm glad, we, I'm glad we stopped in here today. This is cool. This gives us a good idea of everything that Yukon has to offer. These are some nice brick homes. I'm going to say early or late 2000s. Yeah, these are nice, nice brick homes. Going to pass the Cox van here. Cox in this neighborhood, that's a good sign. means you get Gigablast. I think Gigablast is like 150 up and 1,000 down. 150 up and 1,000. Okay, now it says it's recording. The, I don't know if I recorded any of that map. That would be so frustrating if I didn't record any any map with all that driving. But oh well. It, it's supposed to be recording now. So we shall see. Settler's Ridge. Settler's Ridge. Let's go drive around this neighborhood together. Okay. Um, Settler's Ridge. I think they're still building some in it. Uh, we'll know for sure when we get to the back part of it. But I've got the stats on it. Homes. Oh, uh, I've got some frequently asked questions, too, from the HOA. So some of the frequently asked questions in the Settler Ridge HOA are, who do I contact to reserve the pavilion in the park for a private event? And you just email the pavilion at settlersridgeyukon.org. Settlersridgeyukon.org. And you can, you can um, rent the pavilion when you live in Settlers Ridge. Next uh, frequently asked question with the HOA of Settlers Ridge is, who do I contact if one of the street lights or the bulbs need repaired? And you call OEC at 405-321-2024. 405-321-2024 if you've got a light bulb or a light pole problem on Settlers Ridge. Next question is if there needs to be maintenance done to the street repair, who do I contact for that? And that is the city of Oklahoma City. So that means you'll have city of Oklahoma City water and trash too, which is great because then you get big trash pickup. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know how I feel about big trash pickup. Oh, we're coming up on the park area. I want to, let me, over here on the right, up here on the right is the big park and pavilion area. Let me show that to you before we go over more frequently asked questions. Oh, look, it says private park. Private park is what that sign says. You see it right there? Private park. That's funny. But yeah, look at this. It's called Weedman Memorial Park. Weedman Memorial Park. And then let me just back up so you can see the... Uh, that's the pavilion that they were talking about written. And right over there is the park. See it? See the park over there? Got four swing sets, two little kid swing sets, two big kid swing sets, uh, bouncy alligator, bouncy what looks like airplane. Got some monkey bars. You got a circle slide. Looks like four regular slides. Yeah, looks like a real fun park. That is awesome. I love neighborhoods with parks. I really do. They're the best. They're the best. All right. That is the park at Settlers Ridge. Let's continue. Man, this house right here by the park, this would be the one to have. You just walk across with the kiddos, play frisbee with the dog, play catch. 
that would be a great, great location right there by the park. All right, moving right along. I'm going to come up here to Land Run. We're going to go north. I'm going to continue north. Okay. Third, frequently asked question in Settler's Ridge. I wonder if he's going to go for it. No, he waited. Okay. Third, frequently asked question in Settler's Ridge is, who do I contact about HOA violations in Settler's Ridge? And you'll just want to email the HOA at HOA at SettlersRidgeYukon.org. SettlersRidgeYukon.org. When there's an HOA violation. Ah, no, they're, they're good. HOAs are good. They really are. You don't want like four cars piled up in a driveway where they're up on blocks or anything like that. HOAs are good. Don't let me fool you. Don't let me fool you. Man. These are some cool houses. They have very decorative garage doors. Every single one of these houses have very decorative garage doors. Yeah. Um, another question is how much are the HOA dues annually? Currently, it's two forty a year. It's only two forty a year annually. So that does things like mows the entranceways and takes care of the park and stuff of that nature. And then the next question is, when are they due? Before March 1st. Before March 1st. Which reminds me, I need to pay my MLS dues. I definitely need to get my MLS dues paid. Let me make a, let me make a turn over here real quick. And get past this guy's open garage. I'm going to do a horn honk to try to sync the camera's audios. But it's so windy outside, I don't know if I'm going to be able to sync the outside audio. One second past this okay let's see let's hope this is a through street ah yuck uh, let's see let's see if this is a through street okay it's looking like it might be a through street I'm just double checking my map as long as we go south we'll be good and I'm pretty sure we can just giving you guys, Settlers Ridge is a very, very large neighborhood. And then, here we go. Let's go over some house stats on Settlers Ridge. Yeah, let's go over some house stats on Settlers Ridge. Okay, over the last six months, just checking my timeline here. Yep, over the last six months, Settlers Ridge has seen eleven closings. Eleven closings in the last six months. And houses sell on average one hundred forty-eight dollars a foot in Settlers Ridge. One hundred forty-eight dollars a foot in Settlers Ridge. Anywhere between a low of two eighty-five. That one probably needed some work. That one probably needs some work. What is happening? Shut that off. Shut that off. Um, don't know what's happening there. All the way up to 465. 465. So 285 probably needed a ton of work. All the way up to 465. The median sales price for the neighborhood is 345. And the average sales price for the neighborhood is 360, 360. So that gives you an idea. Houses are built between 2011 and 2019, 2011, 2019, so fairly new neighborhood. And the square feet on this neighborhood is from 2000 up to 3,500. 2,000 square feet up to 3,500 square feet for Settlers Ridge in Yukon, Oklahoma. So, yeah, this is a really nice neighborhood in Yukon. Great access to all the shopping, the movies, the restaurants, the eatery, I-40, everything, everything. All right, now we're going to head over to, uh, we're going to go to Garth Bridge Boulevard, Garth Bridge Boulevard, and we are going to drive all that new shopping 
all that new everything that they have in between Garth Brooks and Czech. So let's go do that right now. All right, I might, uh, okay, this is gonna be fun. Whew, man, any questions so far on any of these neighborhoods? Put them in the comments below. You know, if you've got questions on other neighborhoods in Yukon, Oklahoma, put them on the comments below. Don't forget to always uh, call, text, or email me. Team agents that I work with at EXP Realty and I, we're always here to help you with your relocation, moving to and moving within Oklahoma City metro area and the Stillwater metro area. So, if you haven't given it a thumbs up already, if you're liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let's other people moving to Oklahoma know that this video exists so they can see it too. And it helps out the channel. And it doesn't cost you anything, just a little click. Well, click, 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 click. That's all it is. All right. Now, yes, the street sign says Cemetery Road. But that's a weird name, so I'm going to call it Garth Brooks Boulevard. Because on the other side of I-40, or the other side of 10th Street, it's called Garth Brooks Boulevard. All right. And in Oklahoma, always be sure to turn into the right lane, uh, not, not the wrong lane. What I mean by that is... It, Stay in the left lane, even if there's two lanes when you turn, because you could get a ticket for turning into the uh, right lane when you um, when you turn at a stoplight like that. Just a side note, just stupid, dumb real estate knowledge from driving all the time and having cops help correct me at my driving techniques. Uh, just a side note. All right, here we come. We're coming up on all of this... All of this uh, development, all of these restaurants, all of this everything up here on 10th Street. Uh, so from 10th to I-40, completely developed from Garth Bridge Boulevard all the way over to Check Hall Road. And you're going to see that as we're driving. Through. That's a big church over there. It's a great big church. Here's a little church. Compared to that church, that's still a big church too. <laughs> That's recording again. Okay, so from 10th on, from 10th on, look at all this development. Look at that. You got Joe Cooper Ford, you got uh, Rib Crib Barbecue, Edward Jones, Staples, T Mobile, Beauty Supply, Tropical Cafe, um, the Alfredo's Mexican Restaurant. We're going to turn down this street right here. We're going to turn. No, we're not. We're going to go straight. Oh, I'm glad no one's behind me. Over here, we've got the Tarjay. Tarjay off of Garth Brooks, Mattress Firm, Freddy's. Uh, family dentistry, Johnny Carino's. Who doesn't like Johnny Carino's? Oil Change Place, Jimmy's Egg, Lowe's, Target, Hobby Lobby, PetSmart, Hallmark, uh, the Integris. The new Integris is over here. Taco Bueno, Del Taco. Oh man, I, I, bet, I wonder if those guys TP each other at night. The medical place is down that way. Um, all the medical places that you find in medical places. Panda Express over there. Chili's. Chili's, I love Chili's, uh, the movie Office Space. I think that was kind of a thing on Chili's. I don't know if that other place exists. I guess I should look that up. Discount Tire, my buddy Brad and my brother-in-law Billy love Discount Tire. Lowe's, Holiday Inn Express, Wheelkey Credit Union, Dental Depot, Logan's. My wife and I used to go to Logan's before we had children. And then uh, when we had children, we just had to start doing the children thing so we don't get to eat out here as much as we used to i'm gonna go oh it's green god i'm so glad no one was right behind me i'm gonna scoot over there's an atwoods up here yes an atwoods and i want to go through the atwoods i don't think i can ah okay. i meant to turn at that stoplight so here is an atwoods and it looks like there's a car wash up here which is super nice and there's a Coles right there, Coles. I'm gonna flip through this Atwood's parking lot now. Yeah, it's a quick change. It's an Oki Express, Oki Express car wash. Okay, I can just, my car turns really tight. 
Yay! All right. Okay, perfect. Um, Staples, Lowe's, Atwoods, two different hotels right here, Dental Depot, and this is all south of I-40, north of 10th Street, in between Garth Creek Boulevard and Check. So much development. And the reason this is a big deal is because if you're moving here, you want to know how long is it going to take you to get to the grocery store. Well, Super Walmart's just north of I-40 up there, just north of I-40, and you saw it was only a mile to get here. It only took a mile to get here. So you got Logan's Roadhouse. Love that place. Wife and I used to go there all the time when we lived in Oklahoma City. And before we had children, why did why does my map keep turning off? This is so fr partial to hypnotics. That's where I go. I don't go to discount tire. I go to hypnotics. And um, it says it's growing. Yep, it says it's recording. Yes. Now get off the screen. Uh, Johnny Carino's, that's a great place to get some burgers. And then there's the AMC Theaters. Uh, you saw it before I pointed out AMC Theaters. My wife and I used to go there. Hideaway! We would go to Hideaway if it was here when we used to go here. Gold's Gym, Buffalo Wild Wings. You got all sorts of stuff. Man, that's a huge Gold's Gym up there. Wow. To the right. That's a pretty big Gold's Gym. Yeah. And then now we're going to go to the other side of tent. On the south side of tent is even more development that I want to show you. And then from there, we'll go over to Stone, uh, Stone Manor. Uh, oh. Stone Mill. From there, we'll go over to Stone Mill. Oh, that person, Blinker, is very dull. Very dull blinker. Okay, let's get over here. So inside this site, you've got an Arby's, you've got another hotel, you've got a Taco Queso, Marshall's, Petco, Ultra Beauty, Five Below, and Kadobi. Kadobi. But there's way more than that. Those are just the people who pay for sign advertisements. Okay, we're going to go in the back side because I want to deal with the most, le the most least human traffic possible but still be able to show you guys all this awesome development. So here we are, driving, driving, driving. Longhorn Steakhouse, that's a good place. Petco, all about coffee. There's a Marshalls, a Ross, an Ultra Beauty, Rack Room Shoes, an Academy, an Academy, that's awesome. And you've got a Cheddar's. you got a Cheddar's over here too. That is great. Wow, there's so much stuff over here. I wonder what else we're going to see around the bend. Burlington Coat Factory. Over there on the right. Burlington Coat Factory is what is also over here. And then, oh, there's something else. Batting. Betting? Bettings? Oh, there's the new Crest over here. Crest is an Oklahoma grocery store. A lot of people love it. A lot of people love Mo Betas. Mo Betas is over here. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Hawaiian style food. Hawaiian style food. And the new crest. The new crest is over here. And the Swig Coffee Drive. Swig Coffee Drive. Man, that sounds really good. That sounds really good. But I've got to get this video shot and get back home. What is going on on my recorder? And I hope this thing is recording. This is the first time I've done this stop video with the two cameras. I'm just going to quit trying to record the map because it is just going to drive me insane. It's going to drive me insane because it keeps quitting on me. So let's go to Settler's Ridge now. Not Settler's Ridge. We've already been to Settler's Ridge. Let's go to Stone Mill Edition. Stone Mill Edition now. So I can show you guys that awesome paper. Okay. So that was all that cool new development that's gone on in Yukon in just, I'm going to say the last 10 years, all that, all five, I'm going to say the last five years, all that new development has popped up. And uh, the on -cube over here on the right, on the other side of the highway, that's super nice, I have an on right here. 
The only thing I don't know is if Yukon has a Zips car launch. That would be really awesome to have a Zips car launch. Because there are Zips. I think there's about eight Zips all over the Metro. Eight different Zips all over the Metro. And they are super handy, especially if you're in real estate. And that, that makes me think also now, if you've ever thought about a career in real estate, hit me up. Hit me up. My team of agents and I, we're always taking on new agents as mentorees, teaching them everything we know and showing them how all the tools that DXP Realty has to offer can really set them above. If they're a new associate, if they're a team lead, if they're broker owners and they're just looking to, uh, to really step their real estate game up, and if you've ever thought about a real estate career, and let's say your employer is forcing you to get out because you don't want them to shove some foreign object in your body and make you take a foreign substance that you that you don't want to take, you know, think about real estate. Think about real estate because it is a rewarding career, and it's definitely the type of job where you get out of it the work you put into. It. So that's my spiel on if you ever thought about. Need a real estate agent? Give me a call. Shoot me a text. Send me an email. I want to talk to you about our mentorship program. And even if you don't need to do a mentorship program, if you just been thinking about EXP and you want to know my perspective on it, I'd love to tell you about it. And I'd love to partner up with you and sponsor you to get you going here at EXP Realty. All right, we're going to go north on Mustang Road here. And we're going over to Stone Mill. Stone Mill. As soon as this light turns green. There's a 7-Eleven on the right there. In this road, you can also get on the highway on 10th. You can also get on the turnpike on 10th right here, too, if you want. You know what? After Stone Mill, let's drive down Route 66. Yeah, that'll be that'll be the final thing. We'll drive down Route 66, and you'll get to see uh, the old the old Yukon. Um, yeah, that'll be fun. Okay, over here you got Crave. We've got donuts, we've got physical therapy, we got a nail salon, we got high five pizza. High five pizza. Okay, Stone Mill is right up here. I don't think it's gated. We're gonna find out real quick if it's gated or not. I don't think it's gated. If it's not gated, then we can film in there because uh, it's public roadways. But if it's gated, we're not going to film in there because that's private property, and I do not want to step on anyone's rights. You know, you got private property, you have rights. I don't want to force my beliefs on your constitutional rights. Oh, look, they got a little speed limit thing right there at the right. That was cute. That was cute. This is Stoneman. This is Stoneman. And let me get you the stats on this neighborhood as we're driving through. So in the last, let me check, six months, in the last six months, this neighborhood has had four sales, four sales, and prices are ranging from 141 a square foot all the way up to 159 a square foot. 141 a square foot, up to 159 a square foot, with prices from 338,000 all the way up to 500, 59000 338000 all the way up to $559,000 for this neighborhood. Let me go south, right here. Oh, these are really picturesque boulevards. And I'm real sorry I came on Yukon's Trash Day. So that's, that's a little frustrating. I did not need to show you this neighborhood on its trash day. Sorry about that, but you can still see how beautiful the houses are, even though everyone's got their trash cans out. That's not a problem. You can still see how beautiful they are. The young man is playing soccer there. I don't want this ball to get out of the room, but it's very scary. But yeah, uh, these houses range from 2,200 square feet all the way up to 3,500 square feet. 2,200 square feet, all the way up to 3,500 square feet. And they were built between 2013 and 2020. So there's still some new construction going on in the neighborhood, potentially. 
we built from 2013 all the way up to 2020. And like I said before, they're ranging from 141 a square foot all the way up to 159 a square foot. And then we're going to come over here on the back side of the neighborhood. This is kind of where two neighborhoods connect. And where two neighborhoods connect right here. To my right is still Stone Hill. And then I move to the left is the park. Oh no! No, this is all still Stone Hill. I, I'm, I'm still 100% in Stoke. Right? Yep. There's a lake behind all these houses. Behind all these houses, there's a lake on the left. So they're considered waterfront property. If the house backs up to the lake, it's considered water back property. If, it, if, it, if the, only the backyard backs up to it, I mean, that, that would make sense, right? Water bank probably. Not water bank. I wonder if that's a thing. <laughs> it's not an RMLS, but I wonder if it is a thing. That's funny. Oh, my, uh, my inside camera is about to die. Uh, let's get the battery up for it so it doesn't die in my... Where we're going on this drive together. That's great. I can't believe the battery went down that far. That is so great. The battery went down that far. Oh, that was Stone Mill. That was Stone Mill. Very beautiful homes. Very uh, picturesque neighborhood. I uh, the houses that are water back houses are super super nice when it comes to the water behind them. Okay. I'm so glad I saw that that battery is about to die. That uh, I'm using this front camera as the it's the 360, and it's always had a battery issue. It's the first gen of it. Um, it's an amazing camera, you know, the features that it does and stuff like that. But I have always had some battery issues with it. Like, it gets too hot, it's, it, it'll freeze, and, yeah. But, but it still has some really, really great features. Okay, let's go through the old town. Uh, Okay, perfect. Now you're charging. Let's go through Old Town, Yukon. That is, we're heading north. That's Yukon High. To the right, to the left. The left there is Yukon High. That's what that is. So you see how close everything is in Yukon. There's only one high school in Yukon. It's all super close. So we'll go north of Ranchwood here, and then the next road is 66. Get up there to 66. Let's go down old Route 66 together, and then we'll end today's tour.